recently officially exited my lazy girl era, so this is the morning routine that's really been getting me back on track and helping me set my habits straight. Usually I'd be playing some type of music while getting ready, but I want to work on being more comfortable with silence. I feel like I'm always listening to something in the background, which like can't be good for you. I recently got this mirror on Amazon. And it's literally changing my life. Do we like the all white fit? I've been very obsessed with wearing like matching sets. Look at this cute bag I have for my little clips. I recently got it on Amazon. And I have my headbands in here too. I literally look like an egg right now. Mm. Brown face struggles. One of my favorite daily habits is getting in 10K steps. So that's been really motivating me to walk my dog more. Sometimes I will literally just take laps around my house to get 10K steps. For my workout, I've been following a push-pull legs split and I use Brittany Lupton's workouts that she posts on Instagram. And I've just been sticking to the same split because although it can be fun to test out different workouts, I like to do progressive overload so that I can build my muscle. So when I'm doing the same workouts, I can actually track how much weight I'm lifting and I'm able to slightly increase it every single time. To be honest, I was not consistent with lifting for a couple months. So now I actually can't lift as much weight as I used to, but we're gonna rebuild their strength. I am currently on a fat loss journey and I'm not ashamed to have physique goals. I've just been keeping up my strength training on a caloric deficit and I've honestly really loved doing my split. I feel so strong. That was such a good workout. After my workout, I cooked a really high protein breakfast. <laughs> I'm gonna change into this beautiful coastal blue outfit. Breakfast was so good today. I've been trying to eat very high protein recently, whole foods, and I've seen such a difference in my body. This is a new face like device that's supposed to snatch up your face. I bought this like a long time ago because I saw like these influencers use it and I just never used it that much. But this thing was like $200, so I better put it to use. Literally prior to this month, I was so off track with my personal development journey just because I got really stagnant throughout senior year of high school for context i recently graduated high school and i'm going to the university of southern california usc for college i just kind of let myself chill out i think i was really just neglecting my goals and i feel the best physically mentally spiritually emotionally when i'm pursuing my vision i just want i want to be the best version of myself and i know the best version of myself has routines regimens and healthy habits also if you guys want to know what healthy habits to implement watch my 10 healthy habits that will change your life video it will change your life. The biggest thing I've been working on is setting a workout routine and I've been really invested in my fitness journey. I told you guys I'm on a fat loss journey but the thing is with all my routines I'm a little bit nervous because I'm going to college in less than two months and I just don't know how I'm going to keep up my healthy routine in college because there's going to be a lot of parties, social events and I don't really want to miss out on that. Like you can't really get your freshman year of college back. Fitness is always there. I've been like treating social media as like a nine to five recently. I do want to lock in and like see what can happen. I'm gonna film some videos for short form like on Instagram and TikTok because I'm also trying to be consistent on those platforms but I'm first gonna dry my hair and do a little bit of a blowout because I want to look camera ready. I paid a former admissions officer 10k but I'm gonna tell you guys everything I learned from her for free because we don't gatekeep here. Y'all my dad just bought pizza? Let's get some. Also I finished filming my six TikToks and I just need to edit them later today and I might repurpose them to IG reels because some are really interesting. I think. Your girl's gonna go on a hot girl walk because we get 10k steps per day. I am so Asian. I'm actually sweating balls right now. <laughs> Back at my computer now, we are resuming the work day. I'm planning for my next video that I'm gonna film, which is my clean girl transformation video. And one of the things I wanna do is wear a matching PJ set in the video, because clean girls love matching sets. I really wanna buy a new pair of matching sets because I don't have any like summer matching. Actually, I do, but I want more neutral ones. This is the current matching PJ set I have. It's from Victoria's Secret. It's cute, but it's just not giving clean girl aesthetic. Editing TikToks is literally brain rot. I literally edited one single TikTok and I'm already exhausted. <laughs> 
Why am I actually incapable? Let's go get some yogurt. I'm gonna make a cute fruit yogurt bowl. Let's talk more about my fitness journey. Last summer, I was very confident in my body. I don't know how much weight I lost because I wasn't really weighing myself at this time. Let's just say I dropped a couple dress sizes. Everything was going really well. And then I went through a lot of my mental health, got on medications, and was just so depressed. So depressed as to where I just had no energy to move around. I was constantly sleeping in bed. I spent like 12 to 14 hours in bed every day. My medications also made it difficult for me to manage my hunger and appetite. So I was pretty much just royally screwed. But the thing is, I was so depressed that I did not care about how my body looked. So for a while, I did not care. But then it got so bad to the point where I started to care. And then I started to care a lot. And like all I wanted was to lose weight. But this phase of just wanting to lose weight only lasted a couple months. I ended up just finding other things in life I was excited about, like getting into college. And I just didn't care as much about my body. But I think recently I've had more of a focus and like I genuinely want to reach my fullest potential in so many different areas of life. And I want to be that fit girl, do you know what I mean? And I just know that I'm not at my healthiest right now. So I'm setting out to lose weight, lose fat, in the most healthy way possible. Like I'm not restrictive with what I eat, like I'll eat anything. Thing, but just in the right portions because in order to lose weight you need to be in a caloric deficit I have been documenting a lot of my weight loss journey But just personally for me taking pictures of what I eat videos stuff like that in the future I will probably make those public look at how adorable this is. I have almond milk blueberries blueberries banana Greek yogurt my bookshelf is an absolute mess right now. So we are going to clean this up I told you guys earlier in this video but I want to try out for the USC cheer team but I need to work in my flexibility so I'm going to change into some clothes that's good for stretching and do some cheerleading stretches. Now that I've completely made a fool out of myself, I think it's time to call it a day. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you and see you in the next one.